Washingtonian boy, Washington State kid, both of us. So we're four weeks out from the LA Fit Expo where he's gonna be, uh, I think, hitting a 700 on the uh, bench. So stay tuned on what's going on today, because it's going down. Watch the explosion here. Ready, baby? Let's rock and roll. You ready? Four five. This? Five fifteen. Four oh five. Five fifteen. Light as a mug. Light as a mug. Get that, get that. Here we go. Here we go. Hook. Boom. Oh, oh. Yeah. Woo. Now, did the work. Now we're going to do some secondary. Uh, this is this is the a lot of the stuff that's not going to be pretty. We've done the bulk of our work. You know, we we shot a lot of stuff that's you know sometimes funny, sometimes just jaw you know jaw dropping. But the truth of the matter is, this is where you're going to see a lot of the growth. This is where the growth comes into play. This is where you're pushing yourself past failure. This is where you're getting the force reps. This is where you're going to see the fatigue, people throw up, pass up, all the stuff that most people won't put on a video. This is the behind the scenes stuff that I like to put out there to show how you have to go above and beyond. You're going to see hands on the bar. You're going to see a lot of stuff that people are going to say unorthodox. What you guys just saw there? 515 incline for five reps after. Let's clarify this. After 315 for 30, a 515 for an explosion, a 405 for a 15 second negative and positive on top of it. Yeah, that's beast. Four weeks out. Only gonna get better. You see, but that's why that's why you have to do stuff to get to a point when you're the best, you're the authority on something. If I say I want to lift, I want hands on the bar because it's going to help me get more reps, and that's what I'm going to do. As long as it translates to a win or better, you know, lifts on the platform, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how pretty or how clean or how perfect the reps are in the gym. As long as it translates to pounds on the bar on the platform, that's all I care about. Come on, come on. Get it, go!
battery now. Yeah, right? <laughs> that was... This comes into what I use as uh, my volume. I'm a firm believer in volume, and something I was I was able to you know come across lately is a, a speed velocity monitor, you know, a tool that is uh, put out there by Chris Duffin. And what it found is I was so used to doing sets of 10 by 10 with 405 and sets of 15 and 20 with 405, and you'd think at that, that kind of weight for 15 to 20 reps, you're getting stronger. What I found is the velocity tracker has an application where you can get an algorithm based on the speed of velocity that you're moving the bar. And just for you know simple conversations, when you're working in the three to four range, that's where you're building absolute strength and power. I was moving the bar speed at about a six to point eight point nine, which is absolutely past hypertrophy. Past yeah. speed, pretty much just pure fat burning, just and endurance work. Fat burning, just and beyond endurance work. So. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put 515 on the bar and I'm gonna use a slingshot so I'm still be able to work at it and you know keep safety in mind. But the overload is still gonna come into play because I'm gonna do about 10 to 15 with this. So I'd rather get 10 to 15 with 515 helping a little bit of help with the slingshot than work at a bar speed that's too fast to build strength and build only endurance with 405 if that makes sense. So that's why you're seeing me do 10 to 15 with a weight and an apparatus that's only used for doubles or triples for most of the time. Uh, you wanna you wanna be on top of the box with that trophy, you gotta think outside the box. Get in your work. Go. 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 Drive. 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 Drive it. Go. Go. Here we go. Get it. Nope. Finish it. Come on. I think you should just wear this home. <laughs>